Hi guys, Genital Hygiene. Every single patient uh, I've seen in the last four days is washing their genitals incorrectly. A lot of patients come in because they've got problems around uh, their genitals, they may have a bit of dermatitis, and they've got lots of other different problems, most of which has stemmed uh, through um, poor genital hygiene. So. First of all, you don't use soap. What is soap? Soap is anything that makes bubbles. So how do you make bubbles? You, uh, you make bubbles by using a surfactant. A surfactant is a, a, a molecule uh, that enables the construction of bubbles to happen. Uh, what happens is it dries out the skin very, very uh, effectively, and that can cause cracks in the skin. Now, you can't see these cracks with your eyes, but if you got a microscope, you'll see these microscopic little cracks and bacteria and uh, thrush and candida and all sorts of other bits and pieces can get into these little cracks and they can cause problems uh, later on. Uh, what you do use is you use something called an emollient. An emollient is uh, a substance that doesn't have any surfactant in it. Uh, so a common type of emollient used in the United Kingdom is E45 shower and Dermal 200. And no, I'm not being sponsored by any of these. There's lots of emollients uh, out there. Um, Hydromol is another one, for example, and they're very, very good at cleaning the general area without uh, breaking the skin. In fact, a lot of emollients actually moisturize the skin while you're washing. So guys, what do you need to do uh, for genital hygiene? You need, if you've got a foreskin, you need to pull it back. If you're circumcised, you still need to make sure that the skin is separated and pulled back from the head of the penis. And uh, with uh, water, make sure that is nice uh, and clean and you get any, get rid of any uh, residue. For guys with a foreskin, it's really important that you pull back that foreskin when you shower and clean out that residue. Because when you pee, if you don't pull back that foreskin, all that pee goes around the head of the penis. Circumcised men don't get it that much because without a foreskin, the, uh, the skin on the head of the penis toughens up. And so there's less likely for that reaction to happen. Uh, which brings us to another point. If you're going, when you're peeing, uh, guys, well, if you're just peeing, stand up. If you've got a foreskin, pull it back all the way as far as it will go uh, to when you pee. It gives that uh, penis a bit of an airing, uh, which is very, very good. Uh, and then afterwards, if you're in a private place, turn around um, and splash some water uh, on the penis uh, to get rid of all that residue and uh, any gunk that's there. That will help prevent smegma. Ladies, if you want to do uh, a similar thing, when you wash, you don't use soap. Uh, nothing with bubbles anywhere around the vagi uh, vagina. Uh, ideally, don't have baths and don't use bath bombs. If you're going to have baths, do what the Japanese do. This is a very healthy thing to do, which is you wash first, and then you get into a nice, warm, gentle bath without any detergent whatsoever. It's more of a relaxation thing. Now, I know uh, in America especially, bath bombs are really, really popular, but they are deadly for vaginal health. No soaps, no detergents, keep it clean. When you pee, uh, you can just uh, wash it off with a little bit of uh, water as well. And uh, ideally, uh, if you've got a, uh, access to a bidet, you can just sprinkle a little bit of water on the outside of the vagina, not inside. You do not want to do leave that stuff that's really bad. The vagina, despite what all the adverts and all the um, cosmetics companies are trying to sell you, the vagina is completely 100% self-cleaning. It knows no interference from anyone. Um, all you need to do is if you do wash the vagina, you just wash it with water. That's all you do. It might sound a bit weird, but please remember to wipe front to back. And guys, the penis is also completely self-cleaning and you don't need to do half the things you guys do to it. You just need a little bit of water every now and then. And that, my friends, is uh, genital hygiene. Click here if you want to know about sexual phobias. Take care.